Playmakers, what's going on? Hopefully all is well with you and your family. I'm getting my steps in the day, baby. It's on the move with Coach. On the move with Coach. It's Friday. It's a great day to get after it. Um, so let's talk. Let's talk some football. And if you haven't already, you guys, please like, subscribe, and share. It does a great deal of value for our channel. Help us build this football community, baby. Help us build something special. And we want to hear from you. We want to hear from you. So light up that comment section for Coach, all right? So today we're talking football as always. And I was looking over the college games for this weekend, looking over the college games for this weekend. A lot of our athletes will be playing this weekend. So wishing all of them uh, the best of luck, whether they're playing pro ball, college ball, high school, JC, prep ball. I wish you guys the best of luck if you are in the before you go pro family. But looking over the college games, you guys, for this weekend and Obviously, we've got all of the conference realignment, which is crazy, and it's going to take some time for us to get used to. Um, and all of the matchups, these are matchups, you guys, that look like bowl games. So we've got uh, UCLA going to play Penn State. They're going to Happy Valley. We've got uh, USC playing Minnesota. We've got Oregon playing Michigan State. You know, we've got all these games that kind of look out of place for this time of year. We've got Michigan playing Washington. That used to be a Rose Bowl matchup, you guys. So all of this conference realignment has uh, the regular season schedule looking crazy. Uh, but one thing I wanted to talk about, and it's been talked about before, but I wanted to get your opinion on it, is the travel. Is the travel that these kids are uh, embarking upon. You know, at first it may seem fun. When I played college football, I played at the University of Colorado every once in a while. We would play a team that was out of our conference, uh, a big school. We played Michigan when I was at Colorado. We played Washington, you know, so every once in a while you have these big games, but um, and maybe they're a little further than you're used to playing, but it's just for one week. It's just for one week. It's not a whole season. It's not a whole conference. And these kids now with the conference realignment, they're going to be all over the place the entire year, the entire year. I mean, um, USC flew out to Michigan. Um, U UCLA has flown all over the place. Cal, um, I know they're not in the SEC, but they went to Auburn. That was already scheduled, but for their conference schedule, they've got to go to places on the East Coast, the Syracuses, the Rutgers of, of the world. So it's a lot of travel, you guys. Miami's coming out to play at Cal Berkeley this year. These are matchups that we would have never got. This is travel that these kids are taking on that they never would have had to take on before, at least not with this much consistency. So I want to ask you, because I was listening to a radio show and the gentleman that was speaking was talking about he didn't think it was fair. He liked the conference realignment, but he didn't think it was fair for kids from the West Coast to have to play early Saturday morning East Coast games. And he didn't think it was fair for the kids from the South and the Southeast to have to come west and play late night West Coast games because this Cal Miami game is going to be a late night West Coast game, which makes the travel hard for the Miami Hurricanes. So I wanted to ask you guys, which one do you think is more difficult? Which one do you think is more difficult? Is it more difficult to be a West Coast kid, maybe a UCLA, USC, Cal, Stanford and have to go east? during the season or do you think it's harder to be an east coast kid a southeast kid that has to go west and play a night game which one do you think is a little bit more difficult and it's going to be interesting to see how this all plays out during the course of the year my hypothesis you guys is that these schools are going to have to play more athletes. They're going to have to play more kids because guys will get injured more with the travel. Guys might not be 
Um, uh, as healthy, um, guys will need a break. So they're going to have to play more people because of the long travel, the long hours, and just the wear and tear. That's my hypothesis. But of course, we're going to see how it all plays out on the field. We may have conference champions, you guys, with uh, two losses. Um, I don't know if you'll ever see a conference champion, maybe with three losses, just because it's more teams losing games during the midst of the season because of the wear and tear of the travel and everything they have to do with the conference realignment. So you guys keep me posted on your thoughts on that. Is it harder to be a West Coast kid and play an early East Coast game or is it harder to be an East Coast kid, Southeast kid and come West and play a late West Coast game? All right. You guys keep me posted on that. The other thing I wanted to talk about, I don't know if you guys had a chance to uh, join us for the locker room show, but the locker room show is every Thursday, 6.30 p.m. Pacific, 9.30 p.m. Eastern. Uh, me, the guru, we bring in the best of the best in the football industry to help serve you, help serve you, teach you, educate you, and get a little entertainment, okay? Uh, last night, last night we had a locker room show guest, and he brought up something very, very interesting that I had never heard before. And he said it helped him. Now, this is James Cotton, former Ohio State Buckeyes linebacker, went on and played in the NFL, played in the CFL. So this is somebody that has an extensive football background, right? Somebody that knows what they're talking about. And this is the first time I had ever heard anybody say this. But he says that he helps people, you guys. He helps people grieve their football careers grieve their football careers. And I had never thought about that before. And he said, yeah, think about it. You know, almost like somebody that's in the military, there's gonna be a grieving process where there's something that you've done for so long in your life or something that um, has been so pivotal um, and that you've invested so much into blood, sweat, and tears. He said that there's gonna be withdrawals there's going to be depression. There's going to be guys that don't know what to do next. And it gives you an opportunity to grieve what you went through. So grieve your football career, especially if you've been playing since you were five, nine years old, all the way till you were a professional, possibly. That that's a big void out of your life once it's gone and that you should grieve your football career, especially if it didn't end the way that you wanted it to end where maybe you got cut, maybe uh, and released from a team, maybe you got injured, a catastrophic injury that cut your career short. So he was saying, grieve your football career. Um, and he can help with that. And I never thought about that because I definitely went through my own depression and my own doubts and different things after I was done playing. And maybe that, maybe that would have helped me. Maybe that can still help me. Maybe it can help you. So that was profound for me to even think about um, grieving my own football career, you know, where you, you find out how to process it. You find out how to figure out who you are, find out, you know, what to do next. And that could be so beneficial to athletes. So that was something that was huge. Once again, James Cotton, uh, you know, check him out. He's at Buck Icon, at Buck Icon on Instagram and on Twitter, I think also on uh, um, TikTok. So at Buck Icon and definitely check out the James Cotton Locker Room Show that we did on YouTube. You can check it out at the Before You Go Pro channel, the channel that you're currently watching, probably, um, unless this is on social media. But you guys, what do you think about grieving your football career? Is that too much? Is that doing too much? Or is that something that you think might be a good idea for some of these young men? All right. So, hey, hopefully you guys have an amazing weekend. Hopefully you enjoy the football, uh, whether you're going in games, whether you're playing in games. Stay healthy if you're playing in games and we wish you the best of luck. Uh, but this is the channel. Please like, subscribe and share because we have a ton of football content, a ton of people we're going to expose you to. And we're going to rock and roll with coach every week on the move with coach. We'll see you at the top, baby. Have a good one.